What are the symptoms of multiple sclerosis or MS? Well, some of these are early symptoms that you wouldn't necessarily have a diagnosis yet of MS, so things to be mindful of. First off are eye symptoms. So there could be something called optic neuritis or an inflammation of the optic nerve. And this is usually most common and one of the first signs that can appear. And you may experience some pain in the eye. There could be some blurred vision and a headache that goes along with this type of eye pain as well. It could be on one side and eventually lead to even partial or total vision loss. So something to definitely check with your practitioner. Another common symptom of MS, which may happen early on, is a spinal cord inflammation. So you may experience some numbness, tingling, and weakness in even the arms and legs. There could be some bladder dysfunction and difficulty walking. So something else, of course, definitely to check with your doctor if you're experiencing any of these symptoms. There could also be some bowel problems and due to sometimes inactivity, there could be a slower movement of the food through the bowel. There could be some constipation as well, but there could also go in the other direction in terms of frequent bowel movements and diarrhea. Even some incontinence can be related to the neural dysfunction. There could be changes in mood, even depression. There could be difficulty in putting thoughts together and just overall fatigue could be some of the early warning symptoms of MS. There could be pain and there's something called the MS hug so it feels like a constriction around the midsection of the chest and that could be again because the nerves are failing. There could be some sexual problems as well so arousal and orgasm could be compromised at the beginning stages and as MS advances as well as that is related to the nerve pathways becoming damaged and some psychological factors as well such as other mood changes and a lowering of self-esteem and your outlook on life. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, of course, always check with your practitioner. Also check out my other videos on MS as to some of the things that you can do in terms of changing your diet. And of course, I have some natural tips to prevent, but also to treat some of the symptoms of MS as well. So today I talked all about MS. What are the early symptoms of multiple sclerosis? I hope that you've got some questions or comments for me. Please drop them in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe and click that bell. Everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you how to live your life in tune and in line with nature. Thanks for watching.